Photonics is the application of light. UTA College of Engineering uh, is a leading force in developing photonics technology uh, in North Texas and perhaps uh, nationwide. We have many innovative scientists uh, that are doing uh, creative work here that are really outstanding and are contributing widely. My name is Han Li Liu and I'm a professor of bioengineering. My research area is to use light to study the brain and to detect cancer that is guiding uh, surgeons right now to a more accurate surgery to cut out the cancer lesions. That's one area. The other one is really to understand the brain by doing non-invasive brain imaging using light. And that can really help in the future about diagnosis and treatment of neurological diseases. I'm Bao Hongyuan. I'm an associate professor of bioengineering. Uh, my research is focused on developing a novel imaging technology. So we focus in sound, uh, using sound to control light. So by doing this, we can achieve a high resolution in centimeter deep tissue. So that's what we call the ultrasound switchable fluorescence. So we can uh, reach 100 micron resolution in centimeter deep tissue. That's uh, haven't achieved before. Uh, we can use this technology for uh, imaging uh, cancer uh, uh, androgenesis, and also we can use this technology to monitor cancer metastasis. My research focuses on uh, optophotic biosensing and chemical sensing. We are uh, trying to develop the biocompatible and bioconfigurable optophotic uh, biosensors, optophotic lasers uh, based sensing technologies. So we use a two-phase liquid to form the uh, high-Q optical cavity. And also we use the biological materials as a part of the gain, laser gain medium. So we can do the sensing uh, in a very unique way. So this, we can dramatically improve the sensing uh, sensitivity and selectivity and the throughput. We can use this type of technology to eventually to detect the cancer biomarkers in the patient's blood. And then uh, the laser is a nonlinear process, so which can pick up the, the signal or report the, the biomarkers very sensitively and highly specific. So we can catch the disease much earlier than the current technology can offer. I'm a professor uh, of electroengineering here at UT Arlington. Uh, my research group has been focusing on uh, new technologies in terms of nanoscale uh, cavities, uh, new materials, try to looking for new you know, laser configurations with a major focus on trying to shrink the laser size as well as you know, address the huge issue of energy consumption. The primary application we are looking at is really for on-chip integration where photonics can be integrated with electronics on a silicon chip so that you can address this uh, you know, performance as well as size and energy efficiency issues uh, for applications for data centers, you know, eventually also high performance computing with a long-term uh, vision towards a you know, personal computer as well. We do simulations, we do the modeling, detailed theoretical modeling, we design our devices and systems, but eventually, if we want to really stand out, we have to fabricate. We have to fabricate and we have to test. The nanofabrication facility is a very important facility for us to move forward in the field. We're trying to take the inventions that we have in the field and commercialize them, try to make them useful. It's an entirely new mountain to climb. There's a wide, spectrum of possibilities in this field and the university and the College of Engineering in particular are uh, well positioned to continue important research in photonics and come up with new applications and uh, developments.